if you chop somebody up like she was chopped up, there would be a lot of blood splattered around because the heart keeps pumping and it spurts it out. Um, there wasn't a great deal of blood here. Not, n not as would have been expected if she'd actually been slaughtered here. The thing was set. Now, there are elements of Kenyan police and Scotland Yard who believe that that's the case, that the scene was set to, to make it look as if she was here. Yeah. Other than that, we know that her leg I found out by the fire there, by the tree, or we're, now we're saying here, and later we found her skull, which had been chopped off of her head, uh, nearby. I, I can't tell you where that is, I don't know. But uh, whether she was alive when she was here, we really don't know. But she either was, or the scene was set to look to make it look if she was here. It was just the absence of blood that makes us wonder whether she was actually killed here or killed somebody else and brought out here. And then having brought her out here, they then chopped her up, which would account for the absence of blood because her heart had by then had stopped. And then they said, well, let's make it look she was here. We'll put those, that piece of towel on the tree and the tiller pilchers and that will make everybody believe that she was here. We don't know. This must be very heavy for you, coming back here. I hate the place, but there we are. It's not a place you want to come to every day, is it? <laughs> if you could find it. Well, Kenya is not the most popular country in our vocabulary. You know, I, I quite like it. I particularly like the people. But uh, the memory of what happened here and the awful cover-up that took place to try and protect the murderers, I find that very distasteful and unacceptable. When was the last time you came here? About five years ago. Because it's really been difficult to locate this place. You've spent oh, hours looking for it. Terribly difficult. Yeah. It always has been. Um, the, the, the best ch chance of finding it is by sat-nav. Um, I mean, if you wanted to lose a body, this what what better place would there be than where we've driven this morning? You know, it's as wild and desolate as you're going to get, isn't it? So you think they wanted to do this as far <coughs> away from where everybody else um, but leaves the hotel? They, the idea was that they would, she, her body would never be found. They find a jeep because it was stuck in a gully, and remember the gully from here where the jeep was found. It's probably eight or nine kilometers, and on the other side of the Sand River. You know, Kenya police are much maligned, but I've worked with the Kenyan police team, and I think that they're not, they're not bad people, they're just terribly led. And they're subject to control, basically from State House. They don't like what happens. They used to be a lot better. Now, they're a bit dispirited. But I think that if Kenya police were given a free hand and with the support and knowledge of what Scotland Yard also have now and the little bit that I could contribute, it's quite possible that the guilty person could be apprehended. As I have absolutely no interest in Kenyan politics, I, one way or the other, it doesn't matter to me from the UK at all. But I did breathe a sigh of relief when I heard that the election result had been questioned and the uh, pleas of unfairness had been held up by the Supreme Court.